In this video, we'll tell you the best things you can do in Oahu so you can experience the heart of Hawaii. From Honolulu to Waikiki Beach to the nearby Pearl Harbor Memorial, Oahu has a diverse choice of activities and attractions for visitors. Welcome to our channel where we share with you all of the amazing places on this planet to put on your bucket list. If you're new here, we trust you're going to love this video. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. Home to the state's capital, Honolulu, Oahu is usually the first island in Hawaii that most tourists encounter. And while the others proceed to see other islands, some decide to stay on Oahu to see what the island has to offer. Those who stay can enjoy a wide variety of activities, such as beach hopping, enjoying a luau, hiking a trail, snorkeling with marine life, and even zip lining. Interested? Keep watching to find out the 10 best things you can do in Oahu and stick around till the end for tips on organizing your Oahu trip so you can make the most out of your days on the island. Our channel's producer's family actually lives in Hawaii, so we've got some secret tips for you. And with that, let's get started. Number one, Aialani Palace. Aialani Palace was where the Hawaiian king and queen lived when Hawaii was still a sovereign nation instead of a U.S. state. It wasn't until when sugar plantation owners overthrew the monarchy that the nation achieved U.S. statehood. Visiting the palace will give you an insight into Hawaii, more than just its current image as a popular and sunny beach destination. Guided tours of the palace are available, informing visitors about Hawaii and some of the deep-rooted tensions that still exist even today. If you want to enjoy a reminder of the monarchy, come to the palace on a Friday and listen to the Royal Hawaiian Band's performance on the lawn. The band was founded in 1836 by King Kamehameha III and still performs today. Number 2. Pearl Harbor Memorial Hawaii's Pearl Harbor Memorial remembers over 2,400 Americans who died during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. It was also the day that marked the U.S. entry into the Second World War. This memorial and museum is a short distance from Waikiki and open to the public seven days a week. The Visitor Center, two museums, and the USS Arizona program are free for all visitors, but a guide is still helpful for explaining everything. You can also tour the USS Missouri and see the deck where the Japanese emperor signed their country's surrender on September 2, 1945. Your visit starts at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center, and from there, you'll board a Navy boat that takes you to the offshore memorial dedicated to the sailors who went down with the USS Arizona. Believe it or not, oil still leaks from the Arizona's wreckage to remind you of what happened here. If you want to be one of the 5,000 visitors wishing to see the USS Arizona, you must know that all USS Arizona Memorial programs are dependent on time and capacity. There are daily programs from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and you can book your visit at recreations.gov. All U.S. Navy trips are limited to 145 people per ride to comply with Navy and Coast Guard regulations, and it lasts for 45 minutes. Number 3. Oahu Atlantis Submarine Adventure Departing from the Hilton Hawaiian Village in Waikiki, the Oahu Atlantis Submarine Adventure is a unique way to see the underwater beauty of Hawaii, 100 feet down while staying dry. During your submarine ride, you get to see all sorts of sea creatures, sunken wrecks of planes and ships, and coral reefs. If you're lucky, you can also spot sharks and sea turtles. Number 4. Byodo Inn, Buddhist Temple Seeing a Japanese temple in Hawaii is probably the last thing you expect to do, but you'll be doing just that as you visit the Byodo Inn, Buddhist Temple in the hills of Kaneohe. Tourists can visit it any day of the week, making it a quiet retreat from the usual activities in Oahu. 
Hawaii's Byodo Inn Temple is actually a replica of a temple with the same name in Kyoto, Japan. While the original was built sometime in the 11th century, the Hawaiian replica was erected in 1968 to honor the 100th anniversary of the first Japanese immigrants to Hawaii. And just like its original counterpart, this replica is just as beautiful, with landscape gardens, tranquil waterfalls, and reflective ponds full of koi fish. There's also an 18-foot tall Buddha statue and a brass peace bell to tie everything together. Number 5. Ho'omolahia Botanical Garden Free is always good. That is why free admission at the Ho'omolahia Botanical Garden is a welcome addition to any itinerary. With over 400 acres of trees from around the world, you can see why this botanical garden is named a peaceful refuge. Of course, trees aren't the only thing you'll see in this garden. There are over two dozen bird species living here, including Hawaii's Aku, black-crowned night heron, and Kulia, Pacific golden plover. And to help you identify what you're looking at through the garden, the Visitor Center has free trail maps that will guide you with plant identification. Curious about what trees you'll find here? It'll be easier to list their origin countries instead of listing the trees one by one, because they have been planted since the garden's opening in 1982. With the assistance of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, trees from the Philippines, Malaysia, India, Melanesia, and other tropical countries were planted to protect the hills of Kaniohe from flooding. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that subscribe button for more content like this. It really helps our small channel and we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Number 6. Go Snorkeling in Hanama Bay whether you're a snorkeling newbie or want to have a look around, the turquoise waters of Hanama Bay should be your next destination. The bay is quite gentle and shallow, thanks to the coral reefs surrounding it. It's also a great way to swim close to all sorts of fish, sea turtles, eels, and other marine life. The only slight downside to Hanama Bay is how crowded it gets. That's because it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays to give the bay a break so tourists only have five days to admire its clear waters and breathtaking marine life every week. The best time to visit is when the bay opens at 6 a.m. You can beat the crowds and grab a decent parking spot. It's a 30-minute drive from Waikiki, so you definitely want a car to get here. Number 7. Go on a pillbox hike. Pillboxes might not be your first choice when visiting Oahu, but it's actually a great way to witness the stunning views of the coastline. That's because most of these concrete bunkers from World War II are perched on the perfect spot to watch the sunrise or sunset. During the war, these military-built concrete bunkers served as lookout posts for spotting enemy activity. The bunkers were called pillboxes, and they were always in spots that overlooked Oahu's coastline. Nowadays, these pillboxes make for great hikes all over Oahu. The two most popular ones are the Diamond Head Lookout and Lanikai Pillbox Trail, though they tend to get crowded. There are other pillboxes for you to see, such as the Mali Pillbox, which are not as crowded. If you want to stick to the two most popular pillbox hikes, you'll quickly discover why people love them so much. Diamond Head is a beginner-friendly trail that brings you to the edge of an old volcano crater. Meanwhile, Lanikai is a bit more challenging but gives you fantastic ocean views once you reach the top. Number 8. Visit the Dole Plantation. If you like pineapples, then you should visit the Dole Plantation near the North Shore. It's a fun, family-friendly place to visit, not to mention it's free. Activities at the plantation include a pineapple-shaped garden hedge maze, and they claim it's the biggest in the world. Dole also offers a plantation tour and a larger one called the Circle Island Tour. The Circle Island Tour takes you around the island's most iconic spots, starting and ending at the plantation. 
Lastly, the Dole Plantation is where you want to go if you want to try some pineapple soft serve, or Dole Whip as they call it. And don't forget to grab a souvenir or two. Number nine, experience a luau. If you want to experience a traditional feast with music, lay flower necklaces, and hula dancing, then you want to see and experience a luau. It may seem like a cliche activity, but it's essential when learning about Hawaiian culture. Make sure you also give the Polynesian Cultural Center in Leai a visit. It is located on the northern corner of Oahu Island, and they have luau buffet dinners and live shows. They also offer canoe rides, art displays, and more. The entire facility sits on 42 acres of land, so you're sure to find something you like as you enjoy a delicious meal and traditional performances. Number 10, go to North Shore. Oahu's North Shore might be a popular tourist spot, but it's definitely not as crowded as the South Shore's Waikiki. North Shore has no shortage of golden sands and excellent waves. It's also a great place for snorkeling and sea turtle spotting, while the hungry can take advantage of inexpensive food trucks around the area. If you visit during the winter, you'll see professional surfers trying to ride some of the biggest waves in the world. In fact, if you visit during November or December, you'll see surfers descend along a seven-mile stretch of beach where tall waves are common beckoning surfers to ride them. If you don't want to watch the waves, North Shore has other activities for you to enjoy. You can take a short ATV ride to the top of a mountain and admire the views from above. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can do a zip line, go rappelling, walk along sky bridges, and more. As we mentioned earlier, we'd like to help you organize your visit to Oahu better. Even though the island is only the third largest in Hawaii, Oahu is packed with activities and attractions for all visitors. Not to mention that Honolulu is on the island of Oahu, so most tourists would encounter this island first before anything else. If you are staying in Oahu, the best way to get yourself organized is to divide the island into four sections, north, south, east, and west. Then dedicate some time to see each of the island's parts. That way you won't miss anything. South. It's the main tourist area, which includes the city of Honolulu and Waikiki. As such, you'll land here first and enjoy your sights and activities at this part of the island. North, the island's beloved quiet side. Although it's still very popular with tourists, this is the best spot for surfing, food trucks, beaches, and country vibes. East, also known as the windward side, the island's east side is where you'll find Kailua and Jurassic Park. You can also enjoy dramatic mountain views and some of the best beaches here. West. Though not as popular with tourists as the other parts of the island, the West has plenty of quiet hikes and white beaches. We've only started to scratch the surface of the excellent things you can do in Oahu, but our list should definitely give you a head start. It's also perfect if you only have a few days on the island. Regardless of your situation, you won't be bored here in Oahu. If you found our guide helpful, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to love this other video from our channel. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. See you soon, and until then, bon voyage!